In the history of humanity, there are many wars and struggles that have determined the destinies of nations. In this part of Matt's story, we will talk about the conquest of Jerusalem, which was established as a city of peace. The most famous commander of the Zingyids. A true leader, well known for his compassion and determination, Saladin. The ruler, who ended the Fatimids' rule, in 1171, and, established the Ayyubids dynasty. Although only 16 years had passed after its establishment, the Ayyubids had captured the leadership of the Islam world with their successes. Under the leadership of Saladin, Ayyubids constantly expanded their territory. The most important land that had to be conquered for this country was Jerusalem. The city was considering as the common center of the religions, as well as a major trade center, and strategically in a very advantageous position. For a country that carried the Muslim banner, this city was the biggest obstacle between it, and the absolute representation of Islam. When the year showed, 1187, the kingdom of Jerusalem was shaken by internal conflicts by the death of the famous King Baldwin. Gaidalusian seized the throne of Jerusalem by having the support of the Templars. As a fanatical Christian, Lusian was seeking war with the Ayyubids. For this reason, he began to plunder Muslim lands. In response, the Ayyubids began to seize Christian lands one by one. The critically important place among these lands was Tiberia. Tiberia was a region rich in water resources. The Earl of the region was Raymond III. Raymond made an agreement with Saladin because of the conflicts of ideas with Gaidalusian. This agreement caused the Jerusalem army to be defeated in the Battle of Crescent against Ayyubids. After a while, Raymond regretted this situation and arranged a meeting with Gaidalusian to express his regret. He promised that he would support the Kingdom of Jerusalem. This meeting meant that the agreement with Saladin was broken. Having received the news of the meeting, Saladin showed him the price of Raymond's betrayal by besieging the Tiberian castle, where Raymond was the Earl. The Tiberian fortress was a fortress protected by two walls, as were the important fortresses in the region. Saladin did not accept any negotiations. He captured the outer wall within hours and destroyed the first line of defense of the Tiberian fortress. Meanwhile, Raymond was still in Jerusalem. Saladin intentionally delayed the invasion of the inner wall. Thus, Raymond would convince Gaidalusian to march his army and save Tiberia. This was what Saladin wanted. At last, Gaidalusian took action in June and marched his army to save Tiberia. The route, followed by the Crusader army was insufficient, in terms of water resources. Therefore, a large part of the army had to struggle with thirst. Many died before they encountered Saladin's army. The army, which was planning to supply water, in Tiberia, was dragged into the middle of the trap that Saladin had set up. On the morning of July the 4th, the Crusaders flocked down the hill to meet their water needs. However, they were surrounded by Saladin's soldiers, and were defeated in a great way. No matter how hard the King of Jerusalem, Guy de Luzian, and his 150 knights resisted, they were either captured, or killed. The true cross, which was brought to encourage the King and the Crusader army, passed into the hands of the Ayyubids. The fate of the Kingdom of Jerusalem, was now in the hands of Saladin. Despite the loss of 17,000 soldiers of the Crusaders, Saladin suffered almost no casualties. The city of Jerusalem was now defenseless. Saladin slowly advanced his army towards Jerusalem. On September 20, 1187, the Muslim army was besieged Jerusalem, and began to beat the city with siege towers and catapults. At the head of the city's defense was Lord Balian. Balian gathered all people who could hold swords in the city to defend the city. On September 29, a breach opened, in the northeast city defense, and the Muslim army attacked to capture the city. Meanwhile, the Jerusalem defense units did their best to keep the Muslims, in this breach. 
but it was clear that resistance was futile. When the date was October 2nd, 1187, Balian left the defense of the castle to negotiate with Saladin. After negotiations, the city was left, under the control of the Muslims. Saladin gave safe passage to Christian lands to people inside the city. Most of the religious shrines in the city remained untouched. During the time of Saladin, the city became the center of many religions and cultures. In 1189, the city was tried to be besieged again, with the Third Crusade. Thanks to the successful defense strategy of Saladin, the city remained in the hands of the Muslims. After this date, the Crusader armies, never attempted for Jerusalem, and the city remained, under the control of Muslims, for 750 years. For more videos, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell button.